Hey, welcome to my workshop again. So tonight, uh, working on a Williams Jungle Lord. Now, if you go back through my videos, I had one of these. Really nice, uh, rebuilt it. One of the nicest ones I've seen. Played phenomenal, sold it. A week later, another one came back. But <clears throat> the only reason that I bought one was it's a red one. So, for any of you that don't know, uh, Williams made the first hundred Jungle Lords were red. It was red cabinet, uh, same design, but it was a red cabinet instead of blue. Uh, the play field's actually different. Uh, the bottom, there's little subtle artistic differences. Uh, but the top is completely different because it's all yellow, uh, which was not on the, on the, on the blue one. Now the back glass is completely different. Uh, the graphic, the graphics are different. All the artwork you see, you know, Tarzan and Jane, you know, completely different artwork. Uh, tigers are different. Uh, so yeah this is this is the only reason i would get uh, you know another jungle lord was to be able to get a red one uh, i love the game uh you know and it's cool to be able to get the you know one of one of the first hundred uh so this poor thing was in pretty bad shape when i got it uh it kind of worked ish not really uh, a few of the light grids were out. Uh, there were switch grids out. Uh, then the kickers wouldn't fire all three of them, which was a grounding problem. It took me forever to figure, find where the ground was broken. Uh, and just a, a whole bunch of other problems. Uh, I put a new power board in it. Uh, rebuilt, rebuilt the other boards. You know, no acid damage on the MPU, so it was all good. Uh, threw in, you know, my Comet LEDs, uh, and I've been going through a little more than halfway through uh, of putting in red super bands. So I've been, I've stripped the play field. Uh, the bottom, I did. And I, so I took the top part off the play field to be able to get in through, you know, the chute and clean all, uh, you know, underneath the ramps and all that. And so I've been going through putting super bands and everything. Uh, as you see, they're not on these flippers, but they're on, on these. These are all new rebuilt mechs underneath, new end of stroke switches, you know, new armatures, uh, actually new coils because uh, both coils are swollen, so, so you, you couldn't get you couldn't get the sleeves out. So I put new coils in. Uh, I haven't I haven't got to these yet. Uh, I rebuilt all the coils underneath, uh, all new springs, new sleeves. Uh, I've been going through, and then I just started doing the top. Uh, I rebuilt the drop target bank, took it all apart. Uh, clean everything same thing with the uh, the ones over here and and the uh, the three on either side so I just need to go through uh, the rest of the top and I ordered a convolux fluorescent plaster protectors on my yellow one you can see I, I did green I'm gonna do yellow on this because there's a lot of yellow on this play field so I think it'll look really cool so the only problem I have is one I'm missing that piece it looks like that right there looks like that but the rivets are in the center because the mounting bracket is in the center so this thing took a beating and even broke the wood uh, so I need to find that well, I found people that had that one that one and that one but they don't have this one so you know go figure it's the same on the blue one. It's the same plastic. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't change it. Uh, 
The other thing is need is I need a new uh, player three score screen. Uh, you see, you know, all of them are bright, vivid. Player three was bright and vivid, w looked perfect. This is lesson learned. After all these years, you still do stupid stuff. Um, yeah, you know, the other night actually working on this game. Uh, one of the things I always do when the play field's up, I always lay my soldering iron in the, in the lockdown track because it's easier to find. It's metal. I don't have to worry about burning anything. Uh, you know, do not uh, do not lean on the soldering iron. So that's one stupid thing I did. You know, the second stupid thing I did was I lifted up the play field all the way and I thought I took both balls out. I only took one out. So the ball proceeded, you know, I had the back glass off. The ball proceeded to fall, hit the top of the score screen and broke the glass, which basically then fried the score screen. Which the problem is you can't find these things anywhere. No one has them. Uh, and if you have them, they're like 90 bucks. Uh, I can get a full LED kit with a new board for 200 So I'm probably going to do that and keep the screens for something else. So, uh, which would be good, you know, drop my, my amperage, you know, on this thing pretty good if I put in all, all new LED score screens. So, uh, but yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. So, you know, score screen's easy. You know, like I said, I'll put LED screens in. Uh, and just I need to find that plastic uh, so I'm on the hunt uh, if anyone uh, has, has seen one it looks just like this uh, just the rivets there's only two and they're right in the center because that's the mounting bracket which goes right there so uh, yeah that's what I'm looking for other than that uh, the game's come along pretty well. Uh, I had to get new, new sound chips. Uh, so I got those in because uh, sound chips were dead. The soundboard, there was no sound at all when I got it. Uh, so this is uh, come along pretty cool. You know, I, lo I loved my old Jungle Lord. And this is totally awesome to get a red one. You know, knowing it's, you know, it's the first hundred made. Cabinet's in really nice shape. Uh, you know, coin door is good. Um, you know, I got, I have new buttons I'll, I, I, I'll put in and a couple other, uh, you know, little pieces here and there. I got to put in a new lock for the back. I put my thumb locks in them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm almost done. This will, uh, take the space of my other Jungle Lord that used to be downstairs. So. All right, cool. Thanks for watching.